As I was putting the final touches on this video, I was going back and forth in my head trying to decide if I wanted to put kind of a preview video or a kind of a, a summary at the end type of thing. Uh, but in the end, I decided that uh, talking to you at the beginning of this would probably be a better idea. The following is a pretty detailed breakdown of how I take a Card Dealer Pro uh, batch CSV and manipulate that spreadsheet um, and then upload it to eBay to create a pick from style listing. Now, if that is not the type of video that you wanted to see, um, you know, there you go. I saved you something. Maybe you can go watch one of my other videos that's uh, that hopefully a little bit more entertaining. Now, if that is the reason you're here, I'd have three things to kind of say before we get into it. Um, the first is a word of encouragement. The video is fairly long winded. It may not be the most entertaining watch. But what I would say is, although I get long-winded in kind of going through all of the steps, I go into detail as to why I'm doing some of the things, I did a batch right after the one I did, and the spreadsheet work took me about five minutes. So while this video is long, once you do it once or twice, it becomes quite a bit quicker, and it can work right into the efficiencies that we as eBay sellers, you know, we're looking for when we when we got a Fujitsu scanner, Car Dealer Pro. Um, subscription, you know, etc. So it gets, it can be fairly quick. The, the second thing I would say is uh, I do not claim to be either a trained teacher or an Excel guru. Um, I've managed to figure some things out here, which I'm glad to show you. Um, it may not be the most efficient way to do some of the Excel work. So the bottom line is once you get to the end product that I show you, it does work. So if you know Excel better than I do, you know, one, tell us, <laughs> you know, we'd like to know as well, but, um, you know, the, the, it may not be the cleanest process that I show you. And in, in fact, I, I do generally kind of manipulate the cells a little bit differently, but in making the video, I was trying to be as clear as I could. So, you know, again, take that for, for what you will. And the third thing that I wanted to mention was that while I lay out specifically here, how I'm looking to do a set break style listing, the concepts will absolutely apply to doing a different pick from style. And that includes, you know, like say you wanted to do, you know, 50 Michael Jordan cards or, you know, Miami Dolphin cards or something like that, whatever you're, whatever you're doing there. The one thing I would say to that though is one of the time saving aspects of how I lay things out here is that you don't have to go back and review the card dealer pro, um, identification making making sure that all the cards got identified correctly if you have scanned them in collated for a set you will need to take the time and go through the card dealer pro batch for accuracy checks if your final goal isn't a set break so that being said here is the video here is how i take a card dealer pro csv manipulate it and upload to create a pick from style listing specifically a set break Today, let's look at how to create a pick from list style listing with a, a CSV file. Specifically, I'm going to show you how I edit and manipulate a CSV downloaded file from a Card Dealer Pro batch and use it to re-upload to eBay to create some of those pick from type listings. Now, first off, why would we want to even do this? So if you're anything like me, uh, resellers out there, you know, the, your Fujitsu scanner and your Car Dealer Pro uh, subscription basically changed your life, or at least how you sell cards. And I am 100% bought in on creating efficiencies when it comes to getting cards listed. Now, Car Dealer Pro is great for individual cards, but like set breaks, they look really clean and professional when you do a pick from listing. And so that is what I was really trying to figure out how to do, especially since most store subscriptions are really focused on buy it now style listings. You have a limited number of auction styles. So while it's a great idea to throw up an entire 600 card set break at 99 cents starting price and let the thing run to really maximize the value you get out of uh, out of selling a set when you've only got 250 
free auction style listings you burn those up really quick and then you seriously start racking up some additional fees other benefits from the pick from include again listing fees you can get 50 variations technically more than that but we're going to show you how to do 50 you can get 50 variations on a single listing so if you don't have a uh, store or again a lower level subscription where the number of listings might be limited again you can get more bang for your buck and then the other thing that anecdotally i've run into quite a bit is when you have thousands of listings and you've listed them at different times, you may have uh, issues when it comes to combined shipping, especially since eBay implemented the automatic payment when you accept offers. It's been making it a little bit more difficult to easily combine shipping for customers. and It's become kind of a pain in the butt. So when you actually do the pick from lists, uh, those shipping issues can, can kind of go away, especially if you got someone coming in and just looking for, for your set breaks. But um, nothing I found online was really helping me do what I wanted. I was finding a lot of information on how to you know, create a, a, a listing from CSV, but I was always missing a piece here or there. And I literally spent two or three days just banging my head against a wall. And those three main issues are... Um, to create a listing via a CSV, you have to have a hosted picture. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, you have some experience using a CSV upload. If you haven't, you know, that's not a problem. We'll, we'll kind of show you. But one of the required fields in the CSV to upload is a picture link, which I didn't have. On the other side of things, if you've ever manually created a variation listing, Typing in the variations takes forever, and that's kind of the big issue there. It's why you don't want to go and have to create 600 manual variations. Now, I tried every which way to get it to work, but I was even unable to combine manual creation and then bulk editing via a CSV upload. I just couldn't get anything to work for me. So I finally figured it out on my own, and if it's out there, you know, don't hate me. This is the way I do it. So what I was finally able to do was take Car Dealer Pro's framework from their uh, listing CSV download, as well as basically the, the pictures that they end up hosting for you when you have a subscription. And I was able to figure out a way to get the pick from listing created with the CSV upload. So there's a couple of things that you're going to want to do to get prepared for making this process flow as smoothly as possible. Again, we're all about efficiencies when, we, uh, when we're talking about listing here. The first thing you're going to want to do is actually collate and scan the cards in order. You're going to want to get the set you know, in order and then scan them in order order um, it will make everything go much 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 smoother you know if you're already doing a set break that's generally easy enough but uh, if you're taking like a smaller set um, that wasn't packaged um, in order go ahead and get them collated in order scan them in order then go ahead and create your batches in card dealer pro and keep them to 50 cards or less the reason is we're going to keep it simple variations for the time being and the variations are limited to 50 per listing and then the next thing is download a set list and format it in Excel. We're going to go into this a little bit more detail later, but the set that you're creating and the one that I did here uh, recently that we're going to use as my example is the 1990 Donruss American League's Best. It's a 144 card set, but what you want to do is go out and actually get a set list into Excel and there can be issues there, so we're going to go into more detail there. But get those three things in order first before you uh, plan on digging into the spreadsheet. Um, and so here's a brief overview of what we will be doing in the spreadsheet. And then after we go over this, we will dig into it in detail. The first thing you're going to want to do when you are in the Excel uh, sheet or the CSV sheet is actually create a new parent line item. Um, we'll show you how to do that, but you know, create a new space and we're going to create a new parent 
item. I'm going to copy all of the relevant information into that parent line. We are going to create the main relationship details cell for the parent cell from the set list. Again, don't worry, guys. We are going to go through this all. Um, after that, we are going to clear out all unnecessary information that came in from the initial car dealer pro CSV that has all of the information as if we were doing individual listings. We aren't doing individual listings. We're creating variations. Then we're going to populate all those variation information cells. And lastly, it's ready. We upload so let's get ready. Here we go. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So like I said earlier, we're going to dive into a little bit of the prep work. Make sure that we are clear on that. I'm going to show you exactly what I do personally before we actually go and take this big spreadsheet right here that is uh, crazy intimidating and really dive into that. So I have personally collated and scanned the cards in order. I've created the batches uh, in Card Dealer Pro, and in this case, I have done uh, 50 card batches. This right here is actually the second batch. Um, you'll see over here that it's card number 51 down to 100 right there. And in this case, anyone anyone that's used Card Dealer Pro knows that it's pretty good at identifying the cards. And in this case, with the uh, Donruss Best of the AL, it actually got it 100% correct. So I would technically be able to create the card list from the spreadsheet here, but that's not always the case. Now the reason I say that you should download the set list is because it allows you to not care about if, uh, if Card Dealer Pro gets it correct. If you have the set list, all that matters is the framework of the spreadsheet and the list and order of the pictures. Okay, so the pictures are going to be listed over here. And that's what we're really using from, uh, you know, from Car Dealer Pro. So if you've got, you know, let's say you've got a vintage set and it's, you know, 400 cards or so. Sometimes Card Dealer Pro identifies reprints or archives or something like that or, or misidentifies the numbers. If you download the set list first, you don't have to go and fix all of the Card Dealer Pro uh, listings. So it can be a big time saver. In this case, I can. And what I will always do is um, I'm going to create a new sheet. Okay, I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to copy and paste it. that. And now we're going to come over to the player right here. So here's the player. It goes there. Now I need to get this into a single cell. And the easiest way that I'm aware of to do that is you come up here. In the formula, you hit equals cell one, and you're going to use the and function. We need a space, so we hit quotation, space, quotation, and B1, hit enter. Now that creates a single cell that shows uh, Dave Parker with the number 51. I'm going to drop this all the way down fill down we've got that now we are not done because if as you see if i click here it shows this formula if i try and take this and copy it into a cell over here it it it, it doesn't do anything okay because it's not in the right sheet. And again, since we're doing a CSV, the actual text and the values are important. So what we are going to do here is we're going to do a copy and we are going to paste. But here is where we come over here and we click not the paste, but the values. Okay. If I were to delete 51, you'll know how this one changed, but this one didn't. So this is actually the information that we need. At this point, I go and delete all of that. And this right here, 
just to keep it clean. I'll move it over. And this is this right here is your important set list. All right, so that is the format that we're looking for. Again, in this case, I was able to get it exactly from the Car Dealer Pro spreadsheet, but that is not always the case. And my, clear that up. And uh, as of yet, I have been unable to find anywhere where I can actually download clean spreadsheets of card set checklists. And so what we are forced to do is go to our best friend Google and try and find something. Now my, uh, my website of choice is baseballcardpedia.com. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever, but what I have found is that they do have the cleanest um, text listing of uh, card checklist and it's a, they have a huge uh, database of them and so since it's the cleanest what I do is go there find the set and in this case right now we are uh, number 51 through 100 of the 1990 Donruss AL best we copy it Come back into our spreadsheet, paste it, and we have to do no editing whatsoever. If you can't find the set on baseballcardpedia.com and you have to go somewhere else, what you will need to do is what I showed you before with the and uh, functionality. Make sure they use the space there. But that right there is as clean as and, and as easy as I have found it, and so that is what I use. At this point, our prep work is done. We've collated and scanned, we've created the batch, and we have the workable formatted set list, which will be used later. All right, the first order of business when actually uh, working on the spreadsheet is to insert a line at the top, uh, blank line, and this is actually going to be your new parent line. Um, this is actually going to be what creates the listing, and it's going to be the uh, you know the pick from uh, list, and not one of the individual, uh, not one of the individual cards. So what I generally do is I'll go ahead and just copy the top line, with and then, and then what we do is we eliminate all of the individual specific cells. And so first one to get rid of is we get rid of the custom label. We keep the category, we're gonna keep the store category. The title, um, this is actually where we are going to manually title this what we want to do. So I'm gonna do, let's say 1990 Donner's Best of the AL number uh, pick from list number 51 through 100. All right, so that's the new title. Uh, no subtitle. Let's get the title, give us a little bit of space to work. All right, All right we're gonna come back to the relationship and the relationship details. Condition, we'll leave that graded. No uh, baseball, eliminate Dave Parker. Manufacturer's fine, season's fine, it's not actually correct, but whatever. Set, graded, MLB, team, get rid of that, autographed, no. Uh, I always say C scan on my card condition, card number is not there, it's a sports trading card, manufactured, vintage, and then we'll leave, so this is where, again, the kind of important part, the pick URL, and there's two per, we'll just leave that as the base picture. Let's see here. Description. This right here, what I always do is I say fix in the live listing. Um, this is actually where I'll go back into the listing once I've got it created and then actually fill in the description it's hard to it's really hard to do it in, uh, in a spreadsheet so uh, fixed price 
duration. We eliminate the starting price. We eliminate the quantity. And the rest of this is all the shipping information. And I actually don't know how this did. So I'm going to do returns, not accepted. You know, just generally I don't. Delete, delete, delete. And best offer, I actually think I do leave this one here. All right, so true there. All right, so that is your new parent line. And again, the big thing will be uh, to go back into the listing once we've actually got it created, and we will fill in the description there. All right, so now we are going to create the main relationship details set. This right here cell is going to be uh, one of the most important things. We're going to do a little bit of Excel manipulation. But this right here is where you actually will put all of the different variations available for this listing. And this right here is what takes forever if you are going to do it manually. So this process right here was one of the you know kind of key ingredients for doing this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to sheet two where we've created our whole list. And we are going to do two functions in one to create this list. And so we are going to use first off the concatenate. Oops, sorry, first off. First off, we'll use the concatenate. We'll do equals, start typing in. Once you uh, get to the concat, you hit tab. And then within that one, we're going to do a transpose. So we're going to do transpose. And at this point, the array that we are going to do is the set list. So we highlight the set list, close parentheses, close, close parentheses, then we are going to do an and, and we're going to do um, quotation and get the semicolon in there, which is going to be the separator, close quote, close parentheses, hit enter, Scroll up one, and there is your list right there. So what you actually see is um, this is just a straight list, all in order, separated by parentheses, no, or, uh, not parentheses, semicolons, 51, Dave Parker, 52, Alan Anderson, Tim Leary. So this list right here goes on for 50 things. Um, now, if you click on this again, you get the formula. So just like last time, we are going to copy it. We're going to paste, but we're going to paste the values. The second one, one, two, three right there. Click that. Now, if you come up here, that's a whole list right there. So now what we can do is copy this, come back into here, and in the relationship details, we click paste. All right, we're not done, though. At this point, what I normally do is um, basically the, the field that is uh, to the left of the dropdown is what you kind of define here. Um, I've looked through a whole bunch of other guys that do this, and generally speaking, choose it works well enough. So you can do choose and then hit equals. Enter. So now that is done. But again, this choose is what actually defines the um, the variation. It's the variation name. Um, but you can't uh, eBay limits you, so you can't have like player or number or something like that. So literally, um, if you just have choose there, it makes makes quite a bit of sense. But that right there is that gets you that relationship details populated and we're done there. Next step is to actually clear out all of the unused cells for all of your variations. Um, so that starts with column A and get rid of all of this add. So we're going to clear out that one. Um, actually, what I do here for custom label, now this right here is actually what will kind of print out once you actually sell one of these. So what I actually like to do is just do a straight cut and paste of the 
of the list. So the custom label actually becomes the card and player. Category can get cleared out. Store category can get cleared out. As uh, so can title. Your title is from your parents, so you can clear both of those out. Relationship. This is where we type in variation. And all of these are variations. So we fill that down. Condition, graded, sport, player, manufacturer, season, set, league. All right, all of this right here can be cleared out. Team, autograph, scanned, card number. All of this can get cleared out. The pictures are important. We're going to leave that for now. The description, format, and duration. These are going to get cleared out. The start price stays and we are actually going to come back to it. Quantity stays. And then all of this gets cleared out at the end. So we've cleared out all the extraneous information from our um, variations. And what we need to do is now populate the relationship details. We'll go back to sheet two and we are going to do another operation. I'm going to just give myself a little bit of space. I kind of like to keep it clean. But we're going to do this and we are going to say this equals Uh, choose equals, oops, choose equals and the cell, enter. That's what you want to look at. Choose equals 51 Dave Parker. We come, do a drop and fill down. Give ourselves some space because, you guessed it, we are going to copy this. We are going to paste it. Oops, I did that one wrong. Paste the values. There it is. Now we are going to go ahead, copy this, back into the relationship details. And that looks good. So these are the variations right there. Dave Parker, Alan Anderson, Tim Leary. All right, so we've done that. The next thing that we are going to do is the pictures. And what we will have to do is another one. We are going to copy this right here. We'll go to our useful sheet two. I'm just going to go down on this one. Let's give myself a little space. Copy this here. And this is actually going to end up as a, um, uh, what we end up doing here is this equals this and equals oops and so we've got the cell ampersand in quotes equals ampersand this cell enter and so that's what we end up with right here is a 51 Dave Parker equals uh, those two pictures grab that 
fill that down then copy it we'll bring it over here paste did it again wrong bring that over there paste the values then copy it bring over here and insert that over that and there adjusts the um, uh, and there adjusts the pictures and again the point is we don't have any random um, operations going on this is all just straight text in there um, so at this point the pictures are done um, so there's that all right so there's two more things that I would I normally do and actually one uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this ad to verify ad especially if this is your first time doing that drop in a verify ad so what it'll do is when you do the upload eBay will kind of give it a test run it, it will you know hopefully up upload properly you'll be all right um, and then you can come back and change that to add but uh, this way you're not having to delete a, a um, listing if you've, if you've done something wrong um, again there's just a lot going on here syntax matters um, but what I'm going to do uh, lastly uh, for me is all of these are set at 99 cents. I did this in the Car Dealer Pro download. If I'm doing a big set and I don't want to verify all of them, I'm not going to go and verify prices. Now is where I'm going to go ahead and set those prices. And for me, generally, th this set, it's nothing spectacular. But what I'm going to do is any of the big names, I'll change it to like two bucks a card. So. All right, so I just did a just did a quick adjustment on a, on a bunch of those right there um, for the prices, but at this point we should be good to go. So I am going to save it, and again, right now we've got the verify ad, so we are going to give it a shot. All right, from your uh, reports tab in your eBay store, we go upload template choose the file al best 51 to 100 which is what we are working on we hit open it is going it'll take us a second here okay so for whatever reason we you know it missed it but there it is so we've tested it it took the file everything looked good there we go we're going to come back into the file and we are going to change verify add to add make sure you save it come back out to the reports upload the template that's the new save we open it up upload in progress and boom completed and that's that now we are going to need to wait a little bit. Um, it, it generally takes a while uh, before you can kind of get to it. Like if I come over here and I come to, like if I just come to my listings and say, for example, I hit 1990 uh, Donruss and search for it. Um, basically, this was number one through 50 that I already did. I got one, you know, random rookie card. And so basically, uh, it takes. A couple minutes to actually show in your dashboard all right so once I've done this search and again it hasn't shown up yet but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna open this other listing um, right here and again this is kind of what it ends up looking like you know so here you see choose you drop it down you get all of your uh, 1 through 50 but what I'm actually going to do is get ready because we're going to just do a simple cut and paste from the uh, the description over here. Because at this point, again, I've now got that the 90 best has been listed. There it is. I can say view live listing and revise the listing. And now, very easily, come over here. Now, 
Now, I did mess up on the pictures in the first one, so I've got some... Yeah, this right here. So this is the automatically input stuff, so I'll delete that. I'll paste what I just got from the other one. My pictures are fine. All right, so 1990 Donruss, American League's best set break. Check my other listings for one through one through 50 and number 101 through 144. Um, and then I've got this, all of the other... That was just a note because my pictures were messed up. My pictures are fine in this one. Make that bold. Pricing. Uh, this right here, this is the other thing I want to fix. I want to make each additional one not $25, $0.25. Cents. That's just how I break it down. And again, that's one of the reasons... Um, why I, I like doing this for these set breaks is because eBay just, with the way that they have redone their, um, you know, buy it now is and making offers and stuff, it just has made it harder to get combined shipping for, for folks. So if you can get it in here, it'll, it just does it automatically better. So that's what I like. I say revise it. And there it is, 1990 dollars best of the AL pick from list one or 51 through 100. Again, really quick, we'll give it a once over. Right there, nice and clean. Choose. Let's see if we get Bo Jackson. There's the Bo Jackson. Um, and again, that's uh, when it drops it down there. It's front and back right there. Who else was big in this one? Molitor. He was next. Let's go. Ah, uh, there's a Ripken right there. Looks good. Looks good. And that's about it. That is how I take a Card Dealer Pro CSV, manipulate the data, upload it to eBay manually, and create a pick from list style listing. I hope you found this video helpful and maybe worth hitting that subscribe button. See you on the next one.